guys this is Angela Angie here and today I'm doing a review on African black soap I want to give you guys a couple of tips on it I want to let you guys know where I got it from how much I paid for it you know my experience with it all that good stuff so with that being said let's go ahead and get into it but first let me say that this is not a sponsored video I did buy this product with my own money So yes, I am coming to y'all naked faced it today because um, I'm going to be talking about my skin and my skin problems and stuff like that. Okay, so how I found out about the African Black Soap was a couple of years back, I would always order makeup palettes from Coastal Scents and they have like uh, gel liners, you know, just makeup and like different stuff like that, eyeliners, um, eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks, you know, all that good stuff on there. And um, when I made a couple of my first orders, I got like a little sample size of their African black soap for free. Now at that time, I had never used African black soap before. I didn't know really nothing about it or whatever. So the little sample that they gave me, I kind of put it to the side because I was using stuff like clean and clear and stuff like that. And it was okay, but it wasn't really giving me that, you know you know getting rid of the black marks and like the pimples and stuff you know like I would want it to so I had the African black soap sitting to the side for a couple of weeks and came across it again so I was like well you know it won't hurt to try it so I kinda Google a couple of things and based on the reviews that I was seeing you know about this soap I decided to go ahead and just give it a try about 90% of the reviews were positive about this soap so I got really excited and I was like you know let me just go ahead and give it a try so the reviews from this soap was it's supposed to remove all dirt and oil from your face it's supposed to help with acne or like any blemishes or anything it helps with like different skin issues like eczema and stuff like that also supposed to give your skin like a natural glow it's a hundred percent natural soap no scents no chemicals none of that and you can use it on your hair your face and your body so with seeing all those great reviews I decided to go ahead and just give it a try and to see if you know it would kind of remove a lot of the you know discoloration mainly on my cheek area like right up in here okay so the next thing I did is I want to look up some of the ingredients that it had in the soap so some of the things that I seen that was in the soap was I had coconut oil, raw shea butter, um, cocoa pod ash, um, palm kennel oil. So those are like some natural ingredients that it has in it that kind of helps the skin. So with seeing all of that, I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. So um, I got the sample and I opened it up and the first thing I did was I smelt it and it had like a really earthy type smell, you know, to it. And I really liked it. And so... Um, when you use it they don't want you to like put it directly on your face and start scrubbing with it so what I did was I got like a, a little face towel and I kind of lathered it up like that and kind of rubbed it in on my um my skin and it lathers up really 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 good um that was the first thing I noticed it, the lathering of it is really good and I only used a little bitty piece of the little sample that they had already sent me and based on just that little piece that I used it lathered up really well so I put that on my face you know kind of worked it around and everything avoided my eye area because um you know you don't want that stuff to get in your eye because it can burn it so um worked it in rinsed it off and instantly I, my face felt like so clean and it felt tight and so um after using it it didn't irritate it it didn't make it feel itchy or anything and it just felt like a really you know good clean to my face that one little simple piece that they sent me for free lasted me at least like three months and through those three months my skin had cleared up like so clear better than any other product that i've ever used and so i had to get some more i had to because that was the first thing that really just really worked for my skin but the only thing was was that um when i went back to order it they were out of stock i guess they have to get some sent back over and so that was a real disappointment for me because i had to wait until they got some more in stock so um about a month ago i ordered the the big piece and it's way bigger than this i've been cutting off of this you know since i got it let me take the little package off of it so I got my hands on some more 
So I eventually got my hands on some more of the African black soap. And this is what it looked like. Hopefully y'all can see it and it's not too light. But actually this has been cut in half. And so I know this is going to last me for a while. I've cut off little pieces like this and put them in like different packages. Because one piece I use for my body. Another piece I would use on my face. And you know I have different pieces for you know what I use. So this is just um, you know what I have left of me cutting off of this big block that I've um I bought and it was just $12 on the website like I feel like that's a really good price for for it lasting as long as it does it's really soft it's like mushy I just love it this chunk of soap I've cut out pieces for my cousins my aunties because I want everybody to experience this soap because it's that good to me so basically this is all that I've been using to, to actually like wash and scrub my face now after you use this soap you want to let it air dry because you don't want it to absorb a lot of water because sometimes that will make it kind of like mushy like extra extra mushy like it's already a soft soap anyway but just getting the um you know too much water absorbed in it will make it kind of break in pieces and stuff so you want to at least try to let it air out first before you like close it in and make sure like all the water is you know wiped away from it or soaked away from it or something like that and so I just make sure I let it air dry after I use it and then after it's dried completely I'll go ahead and wrap it back in like a little piece of saran wrap and put it to the side like I absolutely love it like I can't go back to nothing else I have to use this so I started like a little natural you know skin regimen for my skin and I've um, been using this because this is what's been working now what I do do is after I lather up my face um, I got one of these little scrub brushes from Walmart. Um, it's the Acne Free Brush. And I just kind of do the little scrubbing. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'll lather my face up with the African Black Soap. And then I kind of just go around and scrub it. And I find that that gives it more of an extra clean that I need. And it doesn't irritate my face or anything like that. They also have liquid African black soap on there if you want it in the liquid form. And they also have like the bars, like already made into a bar of the African black soap on there as well. And I've already ordered both of those items. And when I use those, I'll come back and do a review on those as well. But until I do get the liquid kind, I'll take a little piece of this soap and I'll mix it with water. And I just put in like a little water bottle and I'll shake it up. And actually, I use this to clean my makeup brushes with. It's really good with getting all the dirt and oils off my makeup brushes. And I also noticed that, you know, with me using this, it gives it more of a clean. Because sometimes if your brushes are not as clean, you can break out from that too. But I've noticed with cleaning my brushes with this, it doesn't irritate my face on the side like it normally does. Because sometimes with, you know, the stuff that I was using at first, it wasn't getting them as clean. So this is like a little alternative if you want to, you know, kind of try to clean your brushes up or whatever. It's been working for me. So if you try, just let me know. So yeah, this is what I've been using. I'll put the links at the bottom so y'all will know. So just to kind of let y'all know what else I've been doing with this. If you want kind of like a natural, um you know a uh, face regimen or whatever after I wash my face with the African black soap I go over and I use rose water as a toner and that softens my skin it also gives your skin a natural glow and everything and I also use this on my hair too it's a lot of good um, benefits of rose water <laughs> And I got this at my local natural hair food store. So after I use the rose water on my face as a toner, I get the coconut oil. And this is like a natural organic 100% coconut oil that I'm using. And I put a little bit in like a little bottle. And I'll spray like a little dime size and I'll kind of rub it into my skin. And that kind of moisturizes my skin. And it, it doesn't break me out or anything like that. So I noticed that that's been working. Coastal Sense has a lot of natural products that I want to try and I cannot wait to come back and kind of show you guys my experience with them. Alright you guys, that's my review on the African Black Soap and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.